of April officially is the peak of tree pollen season. You can visibly see the pollen at times being released like in this video, but the pollen that affects us is much smaller than what we see. It's time to raise our pollen IQ. Trees, grasses, and weeds all pollinate, and these tiny particles are lifted up in the air. And if you have an allergy for any of these, it usually leads to <laughs> When pollen gets into your nose, your immune system sees this foreign body as a threat. Dr. Alec Gupta from Atrium Health says this causes a release of a chemical called histamine. Histamines tell your brain it's time to sneeze to get that pollen out. So that's why we take antihistamines to ease our sneezes. But the pollen that covers everything, including our cars, or big chunks like this that fall from the trees, is not what causes us to sneeze. The particles that make us sneeze when the concentration is too high are microscopic. When it comes to pollen, different plants have different seasons. Tree pollen rises in March, peaks in April, then declines rapidly at the end of May in the Carolinas. Grass pollen levels never get overly high, but have two peaks, one in late spring and another in early fall. As for weeds, it's really only ragweed that has a prevalent season, spiking in late summer and early fall. This allergen places second to tree pollen. Another allergen that causes trouble are mold spores. These are present throughout the year, depending on weather conditions. Dry and windy days mean more allergy medicine, while wet and rainy days can briefly decrease the amount of pollen in the air. However, the rain can also aid the growth of more pollen. So try to breathe easy, my friends. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte. Chris, thank you very much. If you want to keep boosting your weather IQ, we've got you covered. Just take out your phone, scan the QR code right there on your screen in the corner. It will take you right to our weather IQ YouTube page.